This is the Digital Music Trends coverage of South by Southwest 2014, an interview with the Melodia. DMT's coverage of South by Southwest is brought to you by Omniphone, the leading B2B cloud music provider powering global music services including Sony Music Unlimited, Guvera, Rara and Sirius XM. Find out more on Omniphone.com and by Music Graph, the world's first knowledge engine for music, available as a consumer app and as a graph API for developers. Check out MusicGraph.com or Developer.MusicGraph.com. Hello everyone and welcome to Digital Music Trends coverage of South by Southwest 2014 and we're here at the French Tech Club and the first interview of the day from uh, the French Tech Club is uh, Bastien Senac, CEO and founder of Melodia. So hi Bastien and thanks for joining me, how's it going? Hi, I'm fine, what about you? Great, yeah, it's uh, the third day of Interactive and it's, uh, it's uh, really good fun, it's uh, overwhelming as usual, right? <laughs> oh yes, it's intense. Is it your first, first South by Southwest? Yes, it's my first one, but it's the third day already. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so uh, let's talk about Melodia. First of all, what is the company all about? Okay, we, we fix a problem, which is a problem not everybody is aware of. 85% of children drop music before they are 15 years old. Okay, and that just doesn't make any sense uh, because the enthusiasm of music is great all over the world too. Okay, about listening to music, everybody listens to music, and everybody would like to play an instrument. Sure. So what we have done is the first fast-track program to learn music through sensations and feelings. It's a game with progressive exercises. It makes you hear and recognize music notions before teaching all the analytical stuff which disgusts every children. That's awesome. And so uh, I would imagine you started the, the project by looking at children's behavior around music as well and how they interact with it. So what was, your, uh, what was the first thing that you thought about when you started making uh, this application? What did you want to achieve with it? Okay. Actually, uh, I didn't have the first idea of the project. Uh, my co-founder, Vincent Chantrier, who is a pedagogue and, um, and also a composer, right. has spent 25 years with 3,000 musicians in order to coach them, in order to right. improve their creativity and their music skills. And he found, he found out that um, every musician on earth could progress on their ear. And progressing on their ear could enable them to progress into music and into composition also. Yeah. So he, he made a method during these 25 years and I met him like three years ago. I was one composer, his method worked on me and so I said, okay, we have to disseminate the word with what you did. That's great. And so how did you approach creating it? So uh, do you have a technology background yourself or did you have external developers help you? Yeah, I have both an IT and business background as well as a musician background. Great. So that's perfect. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's great. I don't know how to code, but I know how to manage people who code. So that's great. That's fantastic. And so uh, let's talk about, uh, so walk me through, uh, you know, the experience uh, on Melodia. If you start it, uh, what happens? What are the first steps that you take okay. on, the, on the application? Okay, perfect. So the first, the very first step, when you imagine a beginner musician uh, and you want to uh, recognize a melody, Okay, so for example, if you want to play the guitar uh, and you want to play your, your favorite song, you have to reproduce the melody of your favorite song. Sure. Okay? The very first step we address is about, um, if the, is, is about the melody. As, I mean, if, if, is the sound you hear going up to the highs or is going low you know, to the lows? Absolutely. So the first step this first step enables people to understand, to concentrate on music and to understand it. As for rhythm, the first step is to count the rhythms of, a ryth you know, of the beats. Yeah. Like one, two, three. Okay, you say it's three. Perfect. One, two, three, four, five, etc. That's the first step of the rhythm. But after a while, you are able to reproduce a rhythm, to know what type of rhythm it is. And we don't talk about notes, we don't talk about scales, we don't talk about intervals at first. Okay, it's just about games and playing and recognizing the sounds. Yeah, yeah, sure. And so what are your first aims in terms of age groups that you're looking at, uh, at uh, working with? Um, we have the chance to be incubated in a great place in France, which is, it's called Le, Le 104. And we have the chance to experiment a Melodia on every type of people. Great. Non-musicians from expert musicians, but also children from six, to uh, kind of old people, to 80 people, uh, 80 years old. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so we have this, ch this chance, but 
um, to answer your question, what we target first is music schools, yeah. music associations. We want to spread the world okay, with that. And we already have some music schools very interested in the product and who are deploying it through their students and teachers. Yeah. And let's talk about platforms. So what platforms are you present on at the moment and what are your plans in that, in that regard? Okay, today we are in web, uh, we are web application, HTML5, full web, HTML5, uh, with Canvas and JavaScript. Okay, um, and what we are going to do in the next three months is having a mobile, uh, mobile apps. Okay, for iPad, for iPhone, but also for Android. And so uh, you are based in Paris, right? Sorry? Yeah, are you based in Paris? Yes, we are based in Paris. And uh, so how do you find the startup ecosystem in Paris uh, at the moment? Is it, is it thriving? Is it quite uh, buzzy? It's thriving and it's increasing. I think La French Tech, which is a very good initiative from the government, yeah. um, is driving us high. And it's great because uh, we are much stronger when we are together. Yeah. Okay, so we are, I think every startup in Paris and in France is very proud of this brand, which is La French Tech. Um, but also in Paris, I would say that there are plenty of very good incubators. Yeah. I was telling you about Le 104. It's a place uh, that enables us to have some very good locations, but also to experiment, to show our product and to improve con cons consistently. That's fantastic. And so uh, you're talking about the future for the company. So the next uh, three to six months, uh, fast iterations, fast development. Yes. And um, actually, we had um, a very good product focused company like two, three months ago. But what we did is uh, driving a change to go to marketing and sales. Yeah. That is what we do now. Okay, we are improving the product, of course, but... You need to uh, get it out there. Yeah, we, we have gone out there yeah, and sure, we yeah. have signed our first schools. Uh, we have co uh, launched commercially last week. So that is, we have a great start yeah. and now we're going to launch and raise, raise, raise. And what about uh, languages? So do, uh, are you uh, French based right now or do you support uh, English and, and how, how does it work? English and French. Uh, but I told you I was an IT manager, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there's not a problem with language. I mean, we can, we can implement any language we want in like three or four days. I mean, 50 languages in three or four days. That's fantastic. Well, uh, it was a pleasure. And uh, give us the details of the web website as well and the uh, social media accounts if uh, anybody wants to check it out. Yeah, come and visit us on meludia.com, M-E-L-U-D-I-A. And Twitter is meludia, W-W. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much and have and a good day. That's great. You too. And thanks so much for listening to the DMT coverage of South by Southwest 2014. Uh, one of the first of a few features from the French Tech Club.